Hello there guys, Fleep here. So today I've got a very quick video for you. Um, I'm very annoyed at the fact that I have to release this, uh, although I didn't want to. Um, as a lot of you were expecting, I'm just testing fraps quickly. As a lot of you knew, I was about to release an ESP and an AMOT tutorial uh, in the next couple of days. But recently, um, I have had a lot of requests from people and stuff. And I forgot that about a week ago, I accepted that I was going to help someone out. Um, and I totally forgot about that and I feel quite bad so um, for the next couple of days I'll be very busy helping someone out and uh, I won't be able to uh, work on videos and what that means is I only had until the end of the month to do these and I won't be able to um, because then I have to start working on my uh, university project um, but that's irrelevant really what I'm gonna do instead though I'm gonna release uh, all the source code for this uh, for a uh, full-on ESP and aimbot, 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 uh, for you guys to work with. Um, so hopefully you guys can use this, and this will be a COD for ESP and aimbot, which will work in both single player and multiplayer. I've only quickly tested it on multiplayer, and it works fine, but there may be some small bugs, but I doubt it. Um, and what I'm going to give you is a C sharp full-on code, everything. Um, you can probably expect me to upload the same thing like this, but in C++ in a couple of days, but I can't guarantee that yet, because um, I know different people like different things. But what we'll be using here is, um, like I mentioned to you before, it's a very evasive method where we only use read process memory. And from that, we, we draw our ESP, and from that, um, we we use our aimbot. So once you've got your ESP, ESP everything becomes a lot easier to do. Alright, so just quickly I'd like to give some credits out to uh, Knacker because um, I, I used, I think, two of his functions to do this and they're very complex mathematical functions which I had a lot of trouble doing by myself so I had to get um, some of his code so big thanks for him because uh, he released a source I think a couple years ago and I used some of that and recruit for the direct x c sharp overlay method which uh, doesn't require any direct x hooking or anything like that which makes your hack almost undetectable on most games so I know people have been using this quite successfully on COD 4, Modern Warfare 3 and that kind of stuff without getting banned so feel free to try this yourself the full on source code I've put as many comments as I could in the amount of time that I had uh, which isn't meant much um, so feel free to go through all this modify things make it work for yourself um, so I'm just gonna show you this in action actually because um, you know it just gets boring otherwise so here I am I'm gonna run the hack here it's a very simplified version of what I had worked with before uh, let me run the game quickly and the reason for that is because I wanted to make it mostly just the I'm just gonna run uh, IW4 where is COD4? Oh there it is um, so the reason for that is because I wanted to make it as simple as possible. Um, so just should I stop? No. Yeah, because uh, I had a crosshair join with this before, and altogether it's a lot of code, and people only want to see the ESP and Aimbot, I assume, and that's why I've only got that that much um, on here. Um, so first thing you got to do, you're gonna you can select your window and all that bit I've done, because that I don't want you to worry about that. I just want you to worry about. You'll notice that once. The more difficult part is the actual uh, ESP, and if I go here quickly, um, so you see there's a couple of classes I created, I tried to tidy up code a bit, but I don't, I don't think I did an amazing job, so some of it will be, um, you know, look a bit messy, but don't worry about that. So as you can see here is the ESP aimbot code, and you can see this obviously for yourself, but mo most of the code is ESP, and then you have like one or two functions that take care of the aimbot, but those, once you've got the uh, maths com um, completed through the ESP, all you have to say is put my mouse there, and then that's the aimbot. So first I'm just going to show you the ESP quickly. Uh, I don't even think there's a point in showing you the aimbot because of... I've already shown you guys that before, but all you need to know is this is a very, it's a good aimbot. It's not as good as they can be, but it's a fairly good one. So this is not responding. Oh, there you go. So I'm currently playing an offline mode um, with bots, which I will spawn in a second. Bear in mind that this will work in multiplayer just fine as well. All right. So all you need to know really is this this simple. Now I ported these for my crosshair uh, hack, which um, means I think this one doesn't look um, exactly as it should but don't worry about that all I want you to know is uh, I'm just gonna run it 
so it's running now. Obviously, I haven't got any enemies spawned, so or friendlies, so that won't look. So I'm just gonna go spawn a bot. Bear, like I said, guys, this will work just fine on both. So I spawn three bots. What happens? Uh, where are they? Oh, there you go. So look at that right there. So. Uh, as you can see certain stuff stays drawn outside the window now this is something I forgot to mention um, the ESP will only work in windowed mode because of the overlay method we've chosen now if you've got your own DirectX hook in C++ all you need to do is modify the code or you can wait for me to upload my own version in C++ which I'll, I'm going to change in a couple of days um, hopefully if, if I can't do it don't um, don't be pissed off at me guys but I will try to um, Worst case scenario, it'll take me a little longer to upload that, but I'll do it as soon as I can. So as you can see here, uh, like I was saying, if you've got your own DirectX hook, all you need to do is modify some of the code, and um, you'll be able to draw this final full screen, no problems. Um, the only reason why this only works on uh, windowed mode is because um, this overlay method, which is very good and it's very um, hidden because it doesn't require any hooking, uh, needs to use uh, Windows Aero, which limits you to using either Windows 7 or Windows Vista. So XP users, sorry about that. Once again, um, everything uh, the aimbot will work in all operating systems or full screen on any, on any condition, but the ESP will only work within Vista 7. Um, Windows Vista 7, what else is there? Um, and uh, obviously an operating system with Aero um, visual mode. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I've forgotten anything, so yeah. Um, and obviously windowed mode, I've mentioned that about a billion times now. So as you can see this here, I'm, I've got really low frames per second, but I'll try and show you the aimbot a tiny bit. Uh, so just gonna go uh, spawn some enemies. So three bots. So as you can see, they come up with red there. Look at that. So you go mine. So obviously, if I, I want to change this, you guys try this yourself. So I highly recommend you get. Um, so as you can see, the smiley face looks a bit wrong, but don't worry about that. It's because I ported it quickly and it didn't look very good. But look at this. I've got my mouse two set up for this. So as you can see, look at that. So I know it's a bit slow, guys. Uh, but um, when you're playing this yourself, it will be a lot faster. Now, uh, when you see my code, I'm sure some of you will see things where you can improve. Uh, stuff. All I did was, um, and I've seen some stuff as well that I can improve and I create some array, array lists and so on. You guys can probably improve some stuff, but even if you leave it as it is, it's still quite uh, good in performance. So as you can see here, very low FPS, but don't worry about that. Um, once again, in case you're wondering, uh, why aren't there, why aren't there, um, I'm just going to go close to these guys, put a couple of shots in them. Yeah, there you go. Both gone with the pistol. So, why aren't there bullet tracing and so on? And the reason for that is because we're using all we're using from the game is read process memory. We're not using any hooks. That way, we can't access the game's functions. But that also means that it's very difficult for VAC to catch us or Punk Buster to catch us out. So, feel free to try this out. Obviously, if you use this code in something that can get you banned, then I can't be held responsible for that, guys. You know how hacking works. Uh, one day you could be doing fine and then the other day you get banned um, so as you can see quick snap look at that snappy snap see look at that straight on so what it does is it aims at the closest person it like I said it doesn't check um, if they are um, if they are behind the wall or not because that would require us to use write process memory or any of those kinds of functions and we can't use that and we're not hooking into the game which makes us uh, very hidden so I think this is it guys once again I'm really sorry for uh, not doing an actual tutorial I know I labeled this video tutorial because I want you guys to come um, check it out because I know a lot of you were expecting an actual tutorial so as you can see he's behind that I can't get him but I know a lot of you were expecting a tutorial I'm sorry about that um, I hope you can use this code I tried to put as many comments as I could in the small amount of time I had um, I just might as well close this now and um, I think that's it. Um, I've, like I said, the comments. There's quite a few of them there. There's a couple of classes. Hopefully, you understand that the principles of that. Um, like I said, the aimbot isn't perfect, but it works quite well. Uh, sometimes you'll see a tiny bug. Uh, I notice that sometimes when you kill all the enemies, uh, sometimes you'll, the aimbot will aim at a friendly. But I'm not really too worried about that because everyone's dead at that point. And um, rush. Where did I write rush? Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Um, I hope you uh, make good of this source code. Um, and, of course, if you're in a rush to do this in C++, just feel free to adapt the, co the code that I've done here. 
a lot of it can very easily be changed because um, that's what I did initially so um, once again sorry about this guys feel free to try this for COD 4 or anything like that um, thanks for watching guys and um, I'll hopefully see you guys later